Mac and Windows Phone version 7 brought uh, a brand new kind of, well, yeah. the Zune had started this a little bit right. with Zune HD, right. but Windows Phone really, you guys had this very strong design. It was a very strong, very different design concept than right. anything we'd seen right. from Microsoft. And right. I think a lot of people were kind of blown away. I know I was. Right. I, I was not what I expected. Right. Uh, and you're now taking that and it's really starting to propagate through all of the other products, or a lot of the other products of Microsoft. Right. Windows 8 is yep. you're seeing you know, some this Metro yep. or Metro That's style. Right. Um, the Xbox dashboard is right. looking more and more like uh, That's right. Metro style. So how important is it is it to bring all that stuff together, um, and, uh, and, and at what point did you realize that you, you needed to unify or you wanted to unify? You know, I think we, we um, as designers, knew way before we actually executed that we did have a very mixed messages to consumers, or let's call it end users, right? And our brand, as far as the external community and end users were concerned, looked very fragmented because our design languages were inconsistent. Right. Maybe more importantly, I don't think things worked as well as they're supposed to, right? And so we internally and we somewhat externally like to joke and say, you know, the expectation for our products to work and feel like they're part of a family have always been quite high. Uh, I like to think that right now is finally when we're delivering on that promise. So one plus one could equal more than two. So we're introducing new math at Microsoft. Scary uh -oh. thing, scary thing fuzzy, in a fuzzy math. It, it, scary thing in a computer science uh, company, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I like to use it. We just say one plus one equals eleven when we when we do what we do, uh, and that is effectively aligning first in principle. We get that scales to interaction design, so interoperability and cohesiveness. Same similar conceptual models. The way you use a phone. Cognitively, you should use similar concepts to what you're using in Windows and or Xbox. That's the priority. Then the look and feel also then now sends a message that you're within a certain family, right? And your right. expectations are set. Uh, so we've always felt that it was important. I think to answer your question directly, it was about two years ago that I recall an event where we, as many, some of the design directors in charge of the different divisions, uh, designs. League, League of Design. League of Design, so yeah. to speak. Uh, we call it an LT, leadership teams. Went off site for a day and a half. And we actually stepped back and for the first time put up all the work using screenshots, hard copies, not, not digital shots. Right. And we filled a wall of 20 feet long, top and bottom, and tried to parse, let's call it information worker from consumer, but if, really took a look from server and tools all the way to what's going on, in some cases what's happening in MSR, but Windows, Xbox at the time, Zoom, and started to look for commonality amongst all this. Right. And, you know, saw an awful lot of it, but were very disappointed in what we were seeing as well. Right. And what Which a waste is, though, uh, of a development huge, efficiency. And but a huge the, complaint the end, from, from yeah, consumers yeah. as well, I think. That's that, right. that, and we, I know as in, in, in the press, we had been giving Microsoft a hard time because there was this promise of, we're reading all of you it. have all That's these right. pieces, yeah. But they're all so disparate, right? right? And then you've got no common real. So common we did. Design, we did as a community, um, and this wasn't anything we needed permission to do. It was always on us, right? Not just design, but it's program management. Anyone's making decisions. Shame on us for not bringing that together as well as we we could have, it, you know. And so we've just took it upon ourselves to say, you know what? We're making calls for the different divisions. It's important that we really start to develop a more unified promise and message to end users, right? Right. So. At a very grassroots level, at one, one hand, we just start to create these small working teams to actually start lining natural user interface, gesture, right? Certainly within our divisions, even that was a, a challenge, but across divisions, even more of a challenge. Uh, and then the look and feel, the metro design style and language became something where different teams were now cross-pollinating, right? We were sharing designers, we we're talking about icons, we we're sharing what palette of colors people are using, and this continues today in a more formal state. Right. But then, we're just doing our job.